Welcome to the new episode. Top 10 countries with most powerful military forces in the world 2024. Rankings, manpower and military. The basis of security of any country is its army. If the army is strong, then there will be no danger of any external attack on the country. Every year, a large part of the budget is spent on improving the army. It is the responsibility and the duty of the country to collect state-of-the-art weapons and technology for the army. Let's analyze top 10 largest military forces in the world. Number 1. United States United States has the most powerful army in the world. If we talk about power, in 2024, the U.S. have 2.2 million soldiers. According to the data, U.S. government spent 693 billion U.S. dollars on its military in 2023. Currently, active personnel is 1,328,000 and the third largest army in the world and the reserve personnel almost 800,000. Overall, the budget is 816 billion US dollars and percent of GDP 3.47%. Number 2. Russia. According to data, Russia has 12,950 tanks which is twice the number of tanks of the U.S. Russia has 900,000 active military and more than 4,100 aircraft. All these qualities make the Russian army the second most powerful army in the world. Military age is 18 and conscription 12 months. Active personnel around 1,400,000 and reserve personnel is around 2 million. And the budget is 86 billion US dollars. And percent of GDP is 4.1%. Number three, China. China, the country with the largest military manpower in the world, comes third in terms of strengths. China, has a fleet of tanks and submarines, second only to the US and Russia. Active personnel is around 2 million. Reserve personnel is around 500,000. The budget is 293 billion US dollars and percent of GDP is around 2%. Number four, India. India has an estimated 1.5 million active military personnel and India and Pakistan have been embroiled in a dispute over Kashmir for a long time. The fourth most powerful Indian army in the world has the most tanks, more than 4,000, and the most fighter aircrafts, which is more than 500. The active personnel is around 1.2 million and reserve personnel is around 1 million plus 310 man aircraft. Number five, Japan. The Japanese army is the fifth most powerful army in the world, although this army is only for internal security. Japan has the fourth largest fleet of fighter helicopters in the world after China, Russia, and the United States. Active personnel is around 300,000 and reserve personnel is around 100,000 and percent of GDP is around 1%. And the budget is around 51 billion US dollars. Number six, South Korea has a large number of submarines, assault helicopters, and active military personnel to deal with external attacks. This army is the sixth most powerful army in the world. The personnel is around 400,000. 
Number seven is France. France may be small in terms of military personnel, but the French army is highly trained and professionally trained army. France has 118,000 active military personnel. Number eight, Turkey. The Turkish army is one of the greatest armies in the Eastern Mediterranean. There are only five countries in Credit Suisse list which have more submarines than Turkey. Active personnel is around 400,000 and reserve personnel is another 400,000. The budget is around 22 billion US dollars and the percent of GDP is 2.7%. Although historically the United States and NATO member countries have been top arms exporters to Turkey. It has started expanding its imports, making Russia its significant arms trade partner. Further, Turkey is heavily investing in its indigenous defense industry and pursuing over 700 projects. Number nine, Pakistan. The Pakistani army, the ninth most powerful army in the world currently has 82,000 regular full-time personnel as well as 4,000 Gurkhaks and 30,000 reserve personnel. 560,000 active duty personnel and 550,000 reserve personnel plus 185,000 National Guard and 16,500 civilian personnel. Overall, 560 plus manned aircraft. Number 10, Italy. Italy's army is made up four armies, Army, Air Force, Navy, and Carabiner. In this, there are 400,000 strong army and 200,000 people are serving in the Army, Air Force, and Navy. Thank you for watching my episode. Please subscribe to learn more.